Hey, Jubes. Doing a little something here, uh, something kind of interesting. And uh, we're out the uh, antenna again here, which I don't think I really ever did do a video on. But uh, that's a homemade dipole we threw together, but more on that later. But what we're doing tonight is, see, I got the antenna set up over here. But the house is way over there. And so you see I have a hefty co coax run here. Going all the way up through here and beyond so as you can see the weeds are getting a little tall now you can't now you can yeah but uh where you can't really try cutting the grass running running over the coax yeah you that's know, it's not a good idea i don't think the radio will work too well anymore after i do that so i'll show you where this coax runs but what we're going to do is we're going to run it all through conduit all the whole way protected from light you know coax might be more expensive than conduit might be so uh, we figure we'll protect it this is where it runs I got it going right there into the house and I got this crazy thing I was just doing some experiments here but I'll show you the uh, the station down there later it's a little messy right now there's a conduit so I think it's time to start feeding it on the tubes New day here. Got all the coax ran. I mean, the uh, conduit ran out. That goes all the way up to the house. We'll talk about that later. Uh, just wanted to show you. Starting to dig the trench here. Uh, I moved the pipe out of the way, but you can see where I used to have it, right where the trench is now. And you can't really tell, but I went all the way down, and I cut on the even sides of the pipe. So now all I have to do is go down in the middle, make a cut, and that way you can take them out in sections like this. So we're going to keep doing that until we have a whole trench all the way down here. And then we'll, we'll figure out what we're going to do now, right. tubes. So we got this, uh, got it all dug out the whole way down. And uh, we had to cut a few roots along the way, but that wasn't a big deal. So now we just set it back in here. And we're just trying to even it out uh, so that it's the same depth all the way through. And then we're just pushing it around any roots if need be. So far, so good. All right, so we're starting to fill it in now, and you can see it's looking pretty good so far. What we got is we got this tarp here, so we can scrape some of the dirt off, and uh, if need be, we'll, we uh, throw it in the trench beforehand to make it level. Otherwise, we just put it in right on top, and we'll throw some of this dirt down in between the edges. Well, I'm sure in terms of the video here, you guys can't even tell there, there was anything ever dug up here. So we're going to keep doing this and I guess we'll show you the final product even though there won't be even much to look at anymore. Now well, I'll give you an idea of how deep the trench is. Uh, stick the camera in here a second. I don't know how big it will look. Uh, it's only about 5 inches, 6 inches at the deepest part. Uh, normally you have to go down pretty deep for electrical to meet the codes and everything. But since this is an electrical, this is RF, uh, it doesn't it doesn't fall under those uh, that jurisdiction. So that's good. But we're gonna keep working here and we'll be back later. You see what he's doing here, you just put a little dirt in beforehand and then I'll scrape more off and put it in. That's all for now. Alrighty. So we're all finished here. We got the uh, got the box going to the house, and then like I told you before, runs all the way along, makes a little uh, cut there, go down, all the way past the house, way behind all the junk. And here you go. This is where it starts to go underground, and once it's past that point, it's all the way. Uh, all the way underground from there until it comes out at the exit point. Now one thing you will notice is now you can definitely see the uh, the exact line where it runs. And the reason being, I'm filming this about a week and a half, maybe probably two weeks after, uh, after I finish this. And so that's why the grass right now is starting to, you know, it's just not getting enough water and it hasn't rained uh, probably since I did it either so you know it, it, it's it's just taking a little time to catch up but that's okay 
But yeah, there you go. Comes right out the exit point here. Up the tower it goes. And uh, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you and show you how I did it for my simple setup. Because, I mean, I don't have a huge tower or anything, you know. Uh, it's, it's only a mast with the antenna up on top, so there's obviously no need for a, you know, a, hu a huge tunnel underground where I can walk in, you know. But either way, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And that's it. See you later, Tubes.